Let's look at that number of a mole. That 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. I wanted to write it out for you just one time as a traditional number where we don't just see a scientific notation number, but the number written fully writ written out. And the number is so big that our brain just kind of shuts off halfway through the number and goes, yeah, it's just really big. So I did just do one factor label problem for you just so you can get a grasp of how big that number really is. And it walks you through how many people are currently living on the planet Earth. If you were, uh, were to count the atoms in one mole of an element and counting at a rate of one atom per second, how long would it take you? So just if you follow that math there, one mole is the same thing as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, counting at a rate of one atom per second, and then switching those seconds to minutes, hours, days, years. If you were doing it by yourself, it would take 1.9 times 10 to the 16th years. I don't think you're going to live that long. So what if every single person on the planet was sharing some of that pile? So you take some of the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and you take some, and you take some. And we're all counting at a rate of one atom per second. So if we share that among 7 billion people, each one of us would take 2,727,000 years. 42 years to count our share of the pile. I don't think we're ever going to get there. So we're going to look at some things you're familiar with first and then kind of build our way up. So if you have a dozen people, that's 12 people, right? And assuming no tragic accidents, um, if I said, how many hands would there be? Well, if there's two hands per person, and there's 12 people, that means you'd have 24 hands, right? Or two dozen hands and two dozen feet, 10 dozen fingers and 10 dozen toes. You take the number there are per person and you multiply that by your uh, factor. So in this case, it happens to be a dozen. If we take that idea and scale it up, so instead of having 12 people, we have a mole's worth of people, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd people. I don't know where you'd fit all of them, but if you had that many, just like you have two hands per person and therefore two dozen hands per dozen people, if you had a mole's worth of people, you'd have two moles worth of hands, two moles worth of feet, 10 moles worth of fingers, and 10 moles worth of toes. So that's how it works when you have people, but what if you have real actual chemicals? That's what we're gonna see next.